be like a platter or to stand a plate on and the idea is I'm planning on getting two thin pieces of wood and I'll put a pattern on them you know uh, for decorative and they'll be about 10 mil thick if you get two out this bit of wood might get three actually and it's just for standing pots on or plates on I think hot plates and things like that I've made some coasters in a similar way and this is going to be the next part of the project this is like the platter I'm referring to but it's going to be patterned I made these coasters on the lathe to stand glasses and mugs on so it's going to be a, a bigger version of this but not as big as this it's kind of in, in between and I did manage today to spend some time in the garden and um, I don't know if you can see it's got a pattern on it there it's actually better on camera than it is and this is one piece of wood and uh, it mounts on the lathe with a metal bracket like that and I'm hoping to get two of these out of this piece of wood I don't think I'll get three no I don't think I'll get three pieces out of it and I've got to uh, sort the back out I haven't got a proper parting tool to part this off on the lathe so what I've done I've used my bow saw and cut it between that gap I created on the, I created as deep as I could go with my chisel and then I cut it with a bow saw so that'll get sanded down so it's flat and that'll be one and then this will get back on the lathe I'll turn this surface flat to start with I'll put the pattern on it and excuse me got the hiccups and then I'll do that so what the intention is I'll just show you these are coasters I made for putting your coffee cups on and I've made these and this is going to be part of the set so you know these I haven't got a coffee cup to hand but stand your coffee cup on there so it doesn't leave rings on your tabletop and things and I made those in a similar way of making this you know they're not you don't get two the same you know, I think yeah these these are varnished actually and that one's still got some holes where it's mounted but different sorts of wood and as I say this is like the next size up so I'll make two of those and I've got four of these and then I've got some big platter ones and I've got some blanks there I can also make things with and some mushrooms and there's some more blanks in this box there's some big one there oops that's the solar panel from the car that is sitting there keeps the car charged in the in the summer when the car's in storage and we're out in the motorhome but we're not in the motorhome anyway that's another story so that's where i am with this this other project okay well i've uh, got the bottom sorted it's not perfect it's this type of wood it's it snags out on the grain and um, but it's only a pot stand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a coat of yacht varnish I'm not using Danish oil because it's not for eating food off of it's for standing pots on and the yacht varnish is a little bit chemical and a little bit heat resistant so what I shall do is um, I'll show you the colour now and then as I'm doing it I'll show you how the colour changes with the varnish. Okay, this is Wilkinson's yacht varnish. And can you see the colour change? Put some more on. You can see it's changing the colour. 
Anyway, I better get on with this and make sure I don't get only on the camera. Now within a short matter of time, the colour has changed quite dramatically on that piece of wood. And I'm going to put it in a warm room now. And uh, so I'd probably get two, maybe three coats of yacht varnish. But yeah, it's not too bad at all. It, obviously when you put the varnish in or anything onto the, into the wood, it swells up and it brings the grain up. So this will be sanded down yet again. And, uh, but yeah, it's coming on very nicely.